What's up guys, welcome to another YouTube video and in this Slay the Spire Ironclad run we show the power of Double Tap for Rampage. Now I've shown this before but this is a kind of a cool little deck that utilizes Double Tap Rampage and also a very slick and very recurring theme as you're going to start seeing uh, block profile. All in all, it was a pretty fun run. I think we managed Act 2 and Act 3 pretty well. Hope you guys enjoy. Drop a like if you do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. This now bonus is mediocre. The now bonus is mediocre here. Unfortunately. I think it's upgrade here. I think it's just upgrade. Seems mediocre though. It's pretty mediocre. There's a lot of elites. Can we can we do four elites? One, two, three, four elites? On the left? That's kind of nuts. That is kind of nuts. Surely not. Now we go here and make, make a decision, depending on the cards. Let's go here first. I'm good. Good pizza. This is awkward. This is an awkward amount of damage. How are you doing, pizza? Rampage. Sure thing, buddy. Rampage for early damage. Should recycle. If it recycles, it's lethal. Oh, it'd be funny ways. Bash plus is huge. Bash plus is huge. All right, battle trance is very good for rampage. An early rampage makes battle trance a little bit better. Uh, Shock up is obviously my first source of weekend and it gives me vulnerable as well. But then we have battle trance for rampage, which makes a lot of sense. And now we can determine. Uh, bash plus plus battle, uh, rampage plus uh, battle trance. Does that mean we can do three elites, four elites even? Or do you want to just get sparkle out of the way? And that, if that's the case, what are the upgrades? Upgrades are probably battle trance. What else? Um, this is decent enough for the gremlin knob. Decent enough for Lagavulin. Battle trance is really good for rampage for Lagavulin. Uh, triple Sentry would take some damage. I think we can do four elites. A Bash Plus, a Battle Trance, and Rampage is all I'm going to take for four elites. No potions. Sounds kind of crazy, huh? It's a little bit crazy. A tad bit local. What's up, yeah, I don't know if I want to go to that local. I don't know. Do I want to go that crazy? Do I want to go that crazy? I'm good. I want to have a long stream, but I gotta get a haircut. Um, and then we'll come back. What's up, Color Sub? So we have a Battle Trans Rampage and a Bash Plus, guys, right? And we're determining if we can do four elites or three elites back to back before we get a campfire. Three elites back to back with these cards. What's up, Logatus? What do you guys think?
Yeah, we're getting a haircut today. You guys can see the, the before and after. We're getting a haircut today. It's particularly crazy right now, but you know, it doesn't usually look like this. But it's a good indicator. <laughs> I'm gonna get a, um, I'm gonna get a, uh, fade into like a four on top. It's a bit risky with no potions. You don't think Rampage Bash is enough? Alright, we won't take the risk. I, apparently I have less time than I thought, so maybe I shouldn't have went live. Frick. I'm getting a four up to the top. And we're gonna get, we're gonna keep, we're gonna sh sh cut the, uh, we're gonna get a little undercut and then trim the top. You know, pretty basic. Battle turns are so good. Battle Trench is so good. Power through, my favorite. My favorite card, Power Through. One of my new favorites. It's a really good block. It's good in hallway fights. It's bad in like boss fights. Because I don't have a way to manage the wounds in boss fights. So it's a curse in a boss fight. Also, it goes against Rampage, right? So let's say Rampage wants to... um. Rampage wants to have a small deck and... And scale up in these boss fights is like an act one damage source power throw unfortunately is amazing block but it, i don't have a way to manage the wounds and then you know it's actively hurting rampage scaling and a hallway fight is totally fine because you probably kill in the first cycle not even necessarily you probably don't kill in the first cycle uh this is a hard power through to take here just because i don't have any ways to manage the wounds and it's, it's pretty bad in hexagos fight there's two, there's two bones, buddy. There's two bones. I'll be, there's two bones. There's two bones. They're fine. No, I can hear from over here. stole his bone. It's totally fine. So, M Badger. Okay, uh, this is tough because it's a really hard path to take here. Because I have no way to manage it. Upgrades. I have a lot of upgrades here. Dude, our first day smile I'm working on that's awesome, dude. Another power through. I guess I gotta take triggered and upgrade it. Now we have upgraded triggered to manage the wounds, make the deck smaller with rampage, and then now we have a full block profile. And that's a good upgrade target for sure. That's a huge upgrade target for sure. And the deck's immediately looking nice, except the problem is we're going against the uh, Gumlin Knob. So I would like to get bashed primarily, right? But this is a decent first turn one. Getting bashed now through turns of vulnerable means that. Jesus Christ, I want to get bash because I think getting bash right now is huge. <sighs> okay, so uh, if I battle transfer bash, it's probably not worth it. It's probably better to just do, do strikes anyways because. Uh, we'll have Bash and Rampage on the redraw. 
But our redraw is actually really bad here. So like right now, our redraw draws into Rampage, which is pretty good. So it might be worth it to do Battle Trance and then we get Bash Rampage, right? But then we don't have any strikes on the redraw, actually. So this is fine. A little unfortunate. A little unfortunate. I don't, I don't think we need a Battle Trance here. So Rampage is already going to be doing... Uh, 19 damage. It's okay. I need one more strike to get lethal. Alright. You know the drill. You know the drill. The Axe 1 Gremlin knob sparkle is always rough, but then we get second wins. Boom! Second win, Rampage power through. Run is sky high. The power curve is so low. Oh my god, I swear to god, we could win this in an hour. Oh my lord, we can win this in an hour. I am excited. What's up, Lord Muck? You don't understand. Power through second one on floor seven with Battle Trans and Rampage. I am solving the game. This is a quick win for the books. Let's not get overconfident, of course. Now, no, no, no. Let me put a little bit of a a hat while my hair is crazy. Kind of contain this crazy hair. Can we get a haircut in just a bit? We don't have that much time, more, less than I thought, honestly. So let's try to speed it up, I guess. The other thing is Berserk, all right? So we got two rares. Enjoy your meeting, buddy. We got two rares. And Berserk is pretty good because you can upgrade it. It's a good upgrade target. And then we have, uh, oh my god, we have second wind plus and power through plus. Oh my god, this is so strong. We are so strong. Berserk plus gives us energy. Energy is really nice because we have better chance for card draw. So is there ever a world where we take Berserk over second wind? Well, the second wind solves the, the, the fires and it solves power through immediately. Yeah, they, 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 love, they love to pay attention to me. So whenever I do anything, my dogs are... Uh, Paying attention. This deck is so good, man. This deck is so good. Look how strong we are. We're so good right now. We're so above the curve. It's crazy. What's up, Trayquil? We are so good right now. Yeah, we took a lot of damage from Gather Knob. Yeah, don't look at the 14 HP. Yeah, it looks scary. It looks scary. However, our deck is banging. It is absolutely banging. Of course, we need to solve some uh, AoE and stuff. But we solved a significant portion of the block. I mean, our block game is significantly strong. Already. So we can go to the right and get this uh, elite in a shop. Do I want to... Uh, I kind of like left better. Blue candle. So that's a, that's a, little, that's a little bit of a miss. A little, so this is the fact that could punish us because it's AoE. This is the fact that could punish us, theoretically. It's a little bit scary, I suppose. Scary my ass. Scary my ass. Uh, it's still kind of scary. Being weakened sucks. It's 
Scary my ass. Scary my ass. Scary my ass. Oh my god. Oh god, we're so strong. Oh boy. Oh, we have a verified Rampage deck. The most beautiful Rampage deck you've ever seen, dude. I'm overjoyed. I'm too excited. It's too early in the game to be doing these doing these things. It's too early in the morning to be doing these things. People aren't ready for this jelly. Look at this. Go for the redraw. Now Rampage is there. No, we're not struggling at all. I, guys. So, the only thing we're struggling in is like, we struggle with AoE right now. We gotta solve AoE and some other things. But our block game has been solved significantly. I can't stress this enough. We have a utility card called Battle Trench which draws four in our deck that's relatively small. Rampage already is gonna be doing some stuff because of the small nature of our deck in second wind. And the block game is huge. I mean, we're above the power curve. We need to solve AoE. And so we can talk about Whirlwind for AoE. Talk about Orwin for AoE. You can upgrade it. I don't like Orwin though. But it's good for Triple, triple Century, is not that bad. Uh, triple Century is a little bit annoying with second. Um, no Evolve. Triple Century is a little annoying, yeah. That's unfortunate. Triple Century is annoying. I don't want to take Orwin for my AoE though. I mean, if I take it, it's okay. An upgrade. It doesn't really solve the. Triple Sentry Fight though. Lagavulin is already solved. So Lagavulin is solved. Triple Sentry is the problem. Um, we don't have Evolve. Do I take Whirlwind for Triple Sentry? But then that means I want to have to like use a lot of energy to attack. Whirlwind does eight damage. It does sixteen damage for two energy. If I if I want to block and then do sixteen damage AOE, sixteen damage AOE. Uh, triple Sentry is really tough. Sentry is really tough. I wish Super Sentry wasn't existing right now. I wish AoE check wasn't a thing. Of course, AoE check is a thing. How can I justify Whirlwind though? How can I justify that? I can trigger it in other fights. In fights that I don't care about, I can trigger it. Um, Whirlwind. Against Super Sentry, I would have to take damage. I would have to take damage. Because I want to block alongside. I don't want to take damage to a sentry fight. Ah. Uh, I think I take this to solve AoE here. It's unfortunate. Uh, we, got, we didn't get triple sentry. That's good. That's really good. No triple century for us. Rampage scaling, let's go. Really good, really good, really good. Do I try to redraw into a uh, rampage now? Or no? I, I want to draw back into these block cards though. So I'm not going to do bad trends there. I could theoretically uh, extra power for this. This fight's free. It's a free fight for us. Except when I get a turn like that, I suppose.
Rampage already kills, right? So it's probably okay to full block. Nine plus that is 33. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. 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 Boom. Now we got to solve the game. Get an evolve or something that we... Alright, so scene red is good. We have battle trend. Scene red is a good card. That's the first source of weakness we just missed. Now, we could do something like second win for upgrade. And all of a sudden, our deck is unstoppable. Do I can take a shop run event? Now we can take this shop of 263 gold and we can evaluate whether or not preservative is huge for the rest of the game. Preservative is huge. Albi, you're so greedy. You're so greedy, little Albi. Uh, what would we look for, for in the shop? We'd look for like a power. So we're looking for an evolve. We're looking for a barricade. Barricade evolve. The deck is done. Ish. I'm exaggerating. But barricade evolve is the powers we're looking for here. Um, Battle Trends Plus with the Scene Red is ma amazing. Scene Red has play with Whirlwind. Obviously, Scene Red is just amazing. On average. We have, we have a decent card draw. Let me take the shop because we want to look for the powers, right? But we also solve the Hexagos fight as it is. So we can save money for Act 2 shop. Because you want to have like a little bit of, I, I like to have 300 plus gold when I go to a shop. But if I go to the shop now, I mean, we're looking for Revolve or something. Well, not even necessary, but yeah, we're looking for like a Revolve or uh, or like a Barricade for sure. I think, I think we save, we skip and go to the event. What, what are the chances here? Right now we have a 56% chance in an event. And we haven't seen any events. Let's go. Let's see, let's see some events. Come on. What do we got? Can lose a Swift Pot and get a Relic? Sure. Sure. Shuriken, okay, we have Shuriken now. Oh, yeah, Shuriken now. Do we want to rank Rampage better? So that, what that means is that on the second cycle, this does an extra... That's uh, 6 damage if I play it twice. An extra 6 damage. Is that significant? I think this is more significant. You can't touch me. Thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you. Personally, I think the cut is just whatever. No, I'm kidding. I, I'm happy. I like the cut. I'm, I'm totally messing around. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, buddy. Shark and Brock, let's go. Hope it's not buffering. I hope it's not buffering. All right, boys. So, what's going on here in this run right here? We have Whirlwind for AOE, so that makes Immolate feel worse. We have Double Tap with Rampage. Double Tap with Whirlwind. You guys want to do some Double Tap Rampage shenanigans? Stream doesn't look like it's buffering, but if it's buffering, I hope it ain't for last. It doesn't last long. All right, let's get some energy drinks in us. Like a degenerate gamer. Like a degenerate gamer we are. 
Take a sip, 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 sip. Ooh, that tastes degenerate. No, that's good. It's good. Okay. Let us see here, and by lettuce I don't mean cabbage or any condiments of the vegetable sort. I'm just speaking. All right, I think double tap is fine. Yeah. Okay, I'm going down double tap rampage. Is this what I'm doing? What about double tap whirlwind? Is that what I'm doing? All right, how about this? In a world where we have whirlwind, which we do, what if we take aim blade anyways? And we can manage the burns with second wind and true grip. And whirlwind, really, although it's redundant, it's still good. But double tap whirlwind, I guess. Ah, this is tough, man. This is tough. Do I even want double tap? Is whirlwind, does whirlwind suffice for uh, AoE? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm, 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 I'm in this alone, huh? I'm thinking this alone. I'm asking for help out there in the in the ether, through the Ethernet. I gotta be the one to make a decision. I gotta figure this out myself. Does whirlwind suffice? Or is Emily still too good? If I double tap. Double tap's a little bit ridiculous. Except we're seeing red. Mmm. The yeah, options are Emily and double tap. Yeah, Emily's still really good. Let's go, boys. Can no longer rest, no longer get gold, or can no longer see intentions. We don't care about Coffee Dripper, right? We have a lot of good block. Let's go. It was in this moment he fucked up the whole run. Hmm. Find out. Hmm. Hoppins is okay. Could be better. Could be a lot better. Repentance? Repentance. What? Remind me what that is? I never had any uh, repentance in my life ever, so the word itself is foreign to me. No, but uh, what is that? What is that referring to? Is this a? Oh, repentance, binding Isaac. Okay, yeah, I'll try it out. Also, can we do three leads with this deck? Based on anti birth, wow, increíble. Wow. My deck is actually good. I'm surprised. Did I make this? Who created this masterpiece? What? What happened? Let's ruin it. Let's ruin this deck. Uh, I have gold to spare, my lady. I have a lot of strikes as well. Let's go. 
what I really want right now. Well, this this is not bad. As far as damage is concerned, 80 damage turn one, it's okay. But you know, like if we were to, like evaluate this on a scale from one to ten, that's a solid nine. Great game. All right, so we're not taking damage in hallway fights. We're getting potions, and now we get offered a second power through with our existing second wind combo. And I'm telling you, sec power through second wind already is giving me the heebie-jeebies. I am so attracted to this combo for my block profile, and they're offering me a second one versus a body slam, right? So body slam is saying you were complaining, you were complaining about your offense a little bit, Jeremy. And you also seem to have good block at times and the ability to draw into key cards with battle trends. So it, it makes some sense to have body slam alongside this second win nonsense. Sure, right? It, it also makes body slam. Body slam is a decent upgrade because it's shuriken. It also is. Well, I don't know. It's, before we jump into body slam, let's take a look at power through number two. Power through number two. I like them both. You're gonna make a Bonnie Isaac mod based on called IB and Isaac? Let's do it. Hell yeah. Yeah, L. Once Isaac is. Okay. So you have to babysit um, Isaac. Okay, so how about this, guys? Let's not take too long here. Power 3 versus Body Slam. Is our offense lacking that much? Is Body Slam good on most turns? No, it's good on half the turns. It's a good upper target as well. How much does the second power through play? Does it play poorly or well? There's going to be a lot of turns where second win and power through are not together. But it also gives me the ability to block like insane amounts, which against Brad, I don't know. Mm. Excuse me for eating, guys. I had to go do errands and I haven't even had lunch. Uh, Bison is a good upgrade though. I, I, I like Bison because I can upgrade it alongside double tap. And then we can actually have a decent offense. For sure, can. Sure, can body slam with AoE. I think we're good. I think we can win the game off this. A couple key powers, and I think we can win the game already. Of course, we want like a shockwave, a disarm. A couple of good things. Oh, I want barricade. There we go. Let's get barricade. Let's manifest that. All right, I'm kind of leaning body slam here. How do those last fights go? I'm doing power through. I'm doing power through. That's a bad turn. I don't necessarily like having to um should buff the strength, but look at that. Buff strength, who cares? Second win power through. Alright, that's a good call. The second power through is a good call. And of course I'm saying like a confirmation bias right now. Nah, it's a good call. That's a lot of strength. Power through feels very nice here. Two damage, no big deal. Okay. Now she means business. Oh, does she? She's dead. Oh, no, too late. Sorry. Okay. You have triggered a uh, twin strike. Looks like a hard skip for me, boys. Now, if anybody wants to say any, any last words, if anybody wants to defend them in the court of uh, card, uh, card law, forever now speak your peace while I'm eating my chicken. But I'm about to decline and ship these to the garbage. Okay. Color pot versus fear pot versus speed pot. I think speed pot we have some good turns. Um, with second one being in the deck. Who's the uh? To the elites. Let's look at the elites. Book of stabbing is probably the hardest. 
Book a stabby would, would necessitate or, or ask for body slam because there's some big block turns and body slam wants to convert that to offense. Um, so we can kill it faster. The single target um, book of stabbing is a little bit rough. I mean, of course, we can manage the wounds down the line with second wind if we end up taking damage. Uh, well, an evolve will go far there. I'm going to go ahead and skip. I like fear pot for... Oh my god, I hate this event. I can't even finish my thought because this event showed up. It's completely sobering me. I was having fantasies about the future and potential powers you want. This is reality. Lose 26 HP. Unfortunate, huh? Okay, well, we can talk about the curse. So with the curse, I can uh, sometimes draw it out with bag of prep. I can draw it out with a battle trance. I even can exhaust it with second wind and power through. Sorry, with true grit and second wind. Now, if I were to lose this HP, I can't rest. So I'm doing this. And I want to keep my upgrade targets in line. And we're going to go for an elite and try to get Bogus Stabbing out of the way. Or this fight, I suppose. Matter of fact, this looks like lethal on two things. And that's all I'm taking for this whole fight. Oh, let me not... Let me not go ahead and miss my damage by uh, four in each. So we can do Fear Pie and kill one of them. Kill the back one. Um, if you're part of the back one, I can do 36 for three hits. So I can end up doing power through. I only take uh, five damage and I kill the guy in the back. Now these guys are single targetable. Or in the case of single target being not a factor, power through second only. Bye. Get a barricade from this. So with the lead chance right now, is looking at 30% rare. I want a rare card, that's for sure. And I want a good one, that too. Oh, look, decay was never a problem. Let's get evolve. A mall bank? Okay, I'm, I'm already rich as it is. I'm waiting to break this gold like crazy. Matter of fact, I'm even thinking to myself, it's probably a shame that I'm not visiting a shop in Act 2 because I am getting wealthy. Now, let's say we, we make the argument that our deck uh, can already beat the Bronze Automaton, which I'm not entirely sure yet. If we can reduce it down to the near bare necessities, we have a lot of block per turn. And of course, Rampage can outscale it if I'm diligent. But for the most part, me not retaining any of my block and having inconsistency between when I actually have my block available to me is a little bit scary. We have a lot of floors before we reach there. All right, so now we look at a scene right number two. Or a uh, dropkick, wait a minute, infinite, someone infinite called. Excuse me, sir, I think I see a, a double tap and I see a dropkick. I also see a lot of targeted exhaust with true grit and second wind. It appears to me that you could in approximately three or four cycles uh, get infinite. Do we want to have that as an option? How slow does that take? Three or four cycles, I would I would argue. Because we got to true get some of these strikes, right? Um... Uh, we have to trigger at least two strikes. And infinite feels nice because we have dropkick in the mix, right? It would even need to do more than that. Three strikes would be ideal, but two strikes is doable. One, two, three, four, five. Battle trench plus four. If these are the four. Uh, dropkick is another one. Okay. Yeah, it would take maybe like four cycles, unless I find another trigger or something. Okay. Which is not too bad. Um. Sure, if you want to drop kick, yeah, that's a small consideration, but not really. It's also the guy has artifacts, so I'm not gonna really get bashed. How does the second scene red play? Yeah, no, me too. I like the long hair too, but what's what's beautiful about hair is that it always grows. And we get to grow into that nice middle age, not the middle age, but the middle stage of long hair. I think get the long hair, rinse, repeat. Okay, it was getting unruly for me. Second, 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 second scene red. I don't know, guys. Not that good for me. It makes Whirlwind a little bit better. It also has a big, some big misses as well, though. I don't know. Second scene red with the fact that we have a uh, bag of prep is interesting, though. So we have bag of prep and we have battle trends. So scene red probably has a lot of play, especially if we add more expensive powers. Is that crazy? Bag of prep exists. I mean, yeah, we really had no two costs at all in this deck. That's the problem. The deck is very low cost for the most part. But with double tap it makes some sense to have another scene red. I wonder if we should have the dropkick option though. If I do have the dropkick option, I, I could potentially go infinite. 
Oh, but no, but Vouchers prevents me from drawing more. Going infinite takes a long time here. Info mod. Info mod two. You gotta Google it. It's not a workshop. I'm running out of upgrade targets here. Okay, these are upgrades, but they don't really fit in my deck at all. <sighs> these don't really fit in my deck at all, actually. I already have like a really decent block profile. I don't think that's the problem. I don't think my blocking is the problem or my life for uh, saving life here. I unfortunately don't like apparitions in this deck. We had another scene red, so theoretically we should find one of the scene reds, but uh oh, we're gonna have some awkward scene some awkward scene reds here. That's for sure. Scene red would have been fantastic right there. And there's two of them in the deck. Seeing it will make more sense as we add like some other cards. Take a lot of damage here that I didn't want to take. Especially with Coffee Dripper. Pretty bad. That's pretty bad. I don't know. Especially because we're about to fight an elite. Trugan is a, an upgrade target here. Habit doesn't make that much sense here. Sure, it's an upgrade target, and we can go. No, nah, we, we don't need another trigger here. No, no, no. How about Rampage or something? Not my greatest. Not my greatest uh, consideration here. The deck has damage. It's just. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what if I... This is incredible. If I were to second win all this, I would be foolish. I got a really unfortunate hand of all my uh, all my defense. This, I might die here. I think I trigger this and do the rest damage. I think there's only one true grit. And we keep all these the way they are. And they fall in terms of taking a lot of damage though. A lot of damage. Which is regrettable when I have Coffee Tripper. I might have to pivot to the right here. Taking a lot of damage here. Yikes, man. Oof. I'm gonna take it. It's nice. I, I kind of. Ooh, another second win is nice. Pump with double spend strength. I kind of want to go to the right and try to look for a. Um, a shop. Wait, let's take a look at the events. So a shop percent chance is 12. It's 40% chance to see a fight. And it's 40% to see an event or a shrine. 10% for a shrine. But combined 40%. Okay. Oh boy. We have a blood pot. I mean the fact that there's a 12% chance of just seeing a shop. I think the shop is the best thing we can see right now. I think it's worth it to just look for the event. I think it's worth it. Boom! Just the fact that the shop is the best thing we could see right now, and the shop is what we see? Let's go, okay. Huge. Let's talk about these cards. Body Slam fits beautifully in this deck. A toolbox, I'll take it. 
a pair, magnificent, a reaper, sustain, interesting, shuriken can somewhat make reaper become a reality, reapers are one of sustain, which is really important when you have coffee dripper, because some fights you can manipulate to your liking, oh my god, this shop is interesting, I like it, I like it, I like it, I could remove a strike instead of a DK, because the DK is managed quite easily with two second wins and a true grip, so that's already, let's, look at, let's start doing the math here, if we do two box remove, we do body slam, we're looking at, uh, Three hundred, around three hundred bucks here. Three hundred bucks. Uh, we can just barely get Reaper if we want to do that. We also look at a corruption as well, but corruption is a little bit funky in this deck. I think our block is very consistent and no need to be exhausted. Corruption is not the power. I wanted this to be a barricade. It's two bucks. It's removal. It's a body slam. It might even be a Reaper, honestly. It might even be a Reaper. I think the ability to have some sustain with double tap. And a coffee trip world is significant. Or am I crazy? That's a lot of money. That's 166 for a Reaper. And a deck that is where it's mediocre at best. Sometimes above average. Yeah, we talked about why Strike's better than Decay because of second two second wins in the deck and a sugar. So Decay is it can be a boon. When I have two second wins, I always leave the curses in. Because the K is a relatively harmless one. Of course, this like on some turns the K obviously is just actively worse than a strike because it just does nothing, right? It just <laughs> do damage. But I'm thinking about I don't know. I guess cycle proof. I what I really need is like another card draw source so that this is not as awkward. But we do have backup prep in battle trends. Um, did I talk anybody to Reaper? Or did I just make us my seem make myself seem crazy? Because it is 166 gold. And it's not that relevant in the boss, but I like Reaper for Act 3. I like how Reaper can make Act 3 fights heal me. Although, with Meal Ticket now being a source of sustain, I wonder if I even need it. I was thinking I'd get Reaper here. I mean, mm. You know what I'm saying? Like Act 3, do I really need that source of sustain? I have one more shot of Barricade here as well for this boss. 23% chance to see a rare card right now in a regular fight as well. Which is pretty significant. Oh. Well, what fights would Reaper really excel in? Because most of the fights I'm killing with Whirlwind, yeah? And the AoE stuff. Jaw Worms and Darklings. And the Spiky Boys, I'm trying to block and then get Rampage huge. So we can scale down with second wind power through Rampage and kill the Spiky Boys, no problem. Even Body Slam exists. I'm so glad I held out for upgraded Body Slam, which is quite nice. I think it makes a lot of sense in this deck. Good a good element of offense. So, uh, the question is... Reaper. The Sustain. Necessary. Or foolish. Hmm. It's tough to evaluate these things, huh? Oh. Yeah, Panacea. Panacea is here. I would like an evolve. I would like a lot of things, I suppose. Hmm, take a lot of damage here. It's unfortunate. Ninety damage. But then I have another way to strip artifacts and apply for pool. I think it's decent for artifact tripping purposes, right? Because we could argue that we really want this boss to be vulnerable. But in future fights, how much do we care about this seven one energy cost AOE artifact tripper? Is it just bloaty at this point? If you add double tap into the mix, it's a, it's a budget shockwave, but only in the vulnerable department, right? So no weakening, we just get a budget, uh, 
trip. I don't know. It's like a two cost trip that does 14 damage. Well, actually, in total, it does uh, 17 damage with double tap, and it does two two vulnerable. And that makes it seem more appeal appealing, right? When you when you put it that way, when you have like um, with double tap, potentially 17 damage with two energy and two vulnerable, it's not bad. But what fights are we trying to solve with that, right? So. I guess artifact tripping is important for this, but in the boss fight, we have three turns of vulnerable. Sorry, for like the heart, we have three turns of vulnerable with bash. And also, if we're looking for weakened shockwave, is our main source, which we haven't found, of course, but that also applies the vulnerable you care about. So then, look at turns like um, other fights in Act 3, like Reptomancer. Reptomancer is interesting, I suppose, for vulnerable consistency, but also somewhat AoE. It's okay in um, maybe Giant Head, but Giant Head, maybe if we're talking about Vulnerable, Bash does the job. Nemesis, it's mediocre. I mean, it's pretty mediocre in a lot of fights. Upgrade the second wind or upgrade the rampage? <laughs> well, double type rampage makes a little bit more sense now. because. Now I can actually get significant damage increases with it. With double tap. I would say significant, but... And it's probably pushing it. Let me see. With double tap, it's it six more damage immediately. So the second time around, it's going to be doing... I mean, double tap it makes a little bit of sense, right? To upgrade rampage, but... Of course, making your blocking the best it can be is always important as well. The problem is second wind always meets second wind. So often, second wind is going to exhaust second wind. If you catch my drift. So upgrading both of them feels a little bit foolish. The rampage is going to become huge. I say it's foolish, yet I want each of my block cards to be champions. Hmm. Rampage, the Rampage upgrade gets worse and worse as you go on. Second wind stays relatively equal, but also goes, I would say even goes up the further you go on. Panache is interesting, because we can proc it now. If we do Madness, what does that do for us? I think we're okay in energy. Panache is interesting. Double tap Rampage is nice. Oh, we got double tap Rampage and Bash. Look at this. So we almost got the vulnerable applied. We got Rampage stacking up like crazy. And we can even get this another Shuriken proc. So now we got that out of the deck. Two strength, panache procs, no big deal. More than 50 damage for sure. And now we have a beautiful turn. We can get rid of True Grit, or maybe we can maintain it to further increase or actually remove strikes in the future. Right? I can just mark the boss technically. And the whirlwind coming up next turn. Keep sure it's important for the strikes because the deck's gonna become a killer. And I'm talking a killer. I've been I struck look, I've been struck. I've been struck. Oh my god, this is a turn and a half. This is a turn and a half. Sweet mother of Jesus. Again, I want to keep through here, but this is awkward. This is awkward, sir. Huge. Huge. Did I have seen red? Freaking massive. Gotta make sure I block on the right turn though. I guess it's important to say. What would he steal that I want him to steal? He's still double tap, which is actually quite nice for us. Our next turn is pretty bad. Our next turn is pretty bad.
to think. I think that I have to use both potions. Actually, I live with one HP. No problem. No problem. Easy. Easiest game of my life. Anybody who's worried, I feel bad for them. GG. The Reaper comes up anyways. We were asking about Reaper, we were speculating, and instead we save 166 gold, and then Reaper comes to us anyways, and it says, Gone are the days where sustain is out of your life. No shop necessary. Use me in a fight. Okay. It's going against corruption, where corruption on the second half of a fight could be beneficial, but with second wind power through, corruption is completely useless. Now we could say, oh, combo deck, setup deck, we have runic pyramid. What that does for us, it allows us to save second wind power through for the big hunk of tonkas. However, it also means that power throughs and second winds get clumped together and stay in the same hand. You can't reset that cycle easily. So if you're going to do second wind, you're probably going to lose the other one, which is fine. It allows you to get rid of your whole deck much quicker. It also allows you to hold the scene right before one is applicable. Aside from that, that's all I got to say for pyramid. Monstrous chest has no intrinsic merit unless in order to examination can be can be considered a virtue. <laughs> uh, what potions will we care about? Matter of fact, why would we want 5 energy actually? Like, why wouldn't this just be a pyramid deck? Because pyramid just is really good. You can hold into Reaper, hold into Body Slam, hold into all these things. I mean, why would we want um, 5 energy here to lose potions? What about Rooney Cube? If we lose HP, we draw a card. Do we ever lose HP? Now we've seen Barricade. Who's. Because first, let's look for Mind Bloom and let's look for Barricade. So we have Mind Bloom right here with a whole assortment of elites. I'm talking six events and two elites, one campfire. Bold, ambitious, and spicy. On the right side, we have an early shop, three hallway fights, one event, two events, one elites, two elites if you so dare. Go to the right side or even more events if you go on the left side. Right side path looks absolutely atrocious. I see hallway fight, hallway fight, hallway fight, one event, hallway fight, one elite, no campfire, hallway fight, hallway fight, hallway fight. Right path is should be cut off from the map. Then we have over here, we have one campfire, a couple of hallway fights, two events, normal pool, we straight going to hard pool, and all of a sudden we can pivot to three elites. There's three elites, which is three relics. Is this an elite smacking deck? I mean, it manages Repromancer. I would say against Nemesis, it has decent value. Of second wind and it can do the job with body slam and rampage and if we're talking giant head think giant head we can definitely outscale with uh, rampage body slam damage but it's a tough choice i think both if we want to consider both paths we start off over here on the left or right here obviously because we can all even go here as well i can do four elites or three elites with a shop before, which might be interesting. I can do four leads technically. Who wants to do four leads with this deck? It's a little crazy and ambitious, huh? What's up, Serotonin? Four leads, anybody feeling good? Copy Jipper, cut four leads. A lot of hallway fights as well. Those are the killers. Let's take a look at this. Uh, let's go over here. Let's get a feel for our deck real quick. Let's remember that we have Pyramid, right? So Pyramid changes how we play turns. 
It should in theory. Like for instance, this turn could have been a lot better, but you know what it can also mean? That we can keep... Oh, this turn could have been a lot better. We can keep the wounds and not worry about it because the second wing can show up and save the day. And then we have seen right up, you know, this is really nice actually. It's actually really nice. It's actually a really nice deck. Look at this. Oh boy. I gotta save second win for a better turn. Ah, oh, glorious. Oh, we're superstars. Yeah, get now our first source of weekend has arrived. First source of weekend, like we can hold that one with pyramid and use it in the appropriate times. Double tap included, scene red included. I think we take our first source of weekend. However, it seems a little awkward, but sure. Against the uh, Dono and Deco, is not doing too much. But where is weekend useful otherwise? This is a two cost chonker. Remember, we didn't take energy. We we have seen red, but we didn't take energy, so. Two cost chonkers, you might feel you might feel its weight in on an average on an average hand, but for the most part, you want to just keep it there and use it for the weekend when appropriate. So that seems fair. Of course, shockwave would over overshadow it if it showed up because it exhausts and also applies vulnerable, which is very nice. Because I don't want my weekend to be attached to damage. The damage part I don't care about. I really just care about the weekend. Although sometimes the damage is necessary. It's with this deck it doesn't feel like it. So um, the, the second option is true. Number two. Trigger number two means I can strike and rid of these strikes and let second wind deal with the, uh, the skills. And before you know it, the deck is a second wind power through monster with rampage, body slam, scaling. I mean, if you told me that's my deck for the heart, I, I would say I, I can totally win the heart like that. Two triggers manage the strikes. Before you know it, in the second cycle or even the third cycle, we already have 60 block on average with a crazy amount of damage. Which should be more than enough. Um... So I, I can see a world for both. Of course, I like the fact that Chuck close down applies weaken. Although in Act Three, it feels like a a poor addition to a deck. I mean, uh, let's let's see here. I mean, I gotta be content with the fact that in the, uh, Act Four Elite and even in the Dono deck in the Act Three boss fights, it's kind of awkward. It's an awkward card. Two energy to do just simply weaken. It's a lot to ask for. Because a single target, at least shock of his AoE. Hmm. Why am I having so much like it's like it's almost like I'm playing chess and I'm having the theoretical discussion of history past of a single opening move or a single card choice on Act 3. Like I like I haven't made this decision before on whether or not close line is appropriate weaken on Act 3. But sometimes it feels like it's never been a decision before. Because, I mean, every run is different, right? And every deck is different. So it's fair that I'm thinking about it. Sure. Sure. A big decision, I think. A second trigger can do just fine as well. If, if anything, second trigger can be a little bit... Uh, We'll be over, over, over producing block here. To take the weaken. Let's go. Wasn't sure about it. Oh, so this is interesting because I can take three. Dark Shackles is fantastic. Panic Blade and Panache are interesting. Panacea is fantastic. Dark Shackles is fantastic. And we can talk about these cards right now. Panache and Panic Button. I, think, I do think this close end is going to cause some issues. Panache can have some play, but is it worth the price of uh, it's a card slot? I mean, Panache will have play in this deck, for sure. I just don't know if it's something we want to invest in. You know, it's a whole card slot. In a world where my deck it doesn't draw that much, actually. In fact, the more cards that I'm adding, the, the worse my deck feels. Because Battle Trance and Bag of Rep can only do so much. We do the Panic Blade Panacea combo as the budget impervious, and Panacea can double double act as a uh, potion enabler. So yeah, do I want to have a budget impervious in a world where I have stupid amount of block? It should be mentioned that I think 
panic button does not stop second wind. Or maybe it does stop second wind, but it doesn't stop feeling no pain. So that's fair. It does stop second wind, though. So, I don't know how much I actually need something like panic button when I have this much block, though. Because this is also a budget... Budget impervious. That keeps... It's the gift that keeps giving. Whereas Panacea is mainly potion enabler and stopping vulnerable. But sometimes it also enables Panacea, which enables me to do more of my energy. Yep, Panache anyways. for Reaper, right? Who wants to look for Reaper? We're reaping it? Who wants to reap it? Yeah, man. I'm bad with my dog, too. It's the weekend, and I'm having a good time. Push your balls to the air right now. Gained health. We got magic flower, which is making the Reaper feel a little bit better. Okay, okay, we got sustain. Another body span. Right into the docket. Not really. No, sir. Not a pick. Not the cards. That's a miss. Then this deck is like is okay. Alright? It's I would say a little bit above average but like approaching average it's really it's about time we get something big boys all right we are a card a key card or two from about to be game over so i'm hoping that in these next 13th floor i would like an evolve i would like a barricade i would like a um Dark Embrace could even do it for me. Dark Embrace, Barricade, and Evolve, they're all decent. Draw Engine mainly, and if it's not a Draw Engine, then a Block Holder. And then I'm happy with it. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. Can I reset that? Fuck. Uh, if my intention is to do power through second wind, and I end up doing second wind, oh, that's life. Fuck me. Yikes. Yikes forever. Yikes forever. to keep that but we have two second ones we also heal a lot so this is fine i would say it's fine i don't mean it Hmm. Hmm. 
I never want to do that fight ever again. That fight is the uh, quintessential pain in the ass. Okay, so we have a bludgeon. Shrug it off. I gotta get rid of these strikes. This deck is interesting. This deck is a little bit worrisome. Every card choice that approaches that isn't up to snuff is worrisome. Now we have a big question, guys. Do we go to two shops to, to double whammy look for the things we're looking for? In terms of uh, double, 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 just mentioned that twice. Uh, like Barricade and Trench, or uh, not in Trench, just Barricade or Dragon Base Evolve, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Shocker would be nice as well, but it breaks the Mall Bank. The Mall Bank's already been broken, actually. I used it in that. Okay, that's unfortunate. I remember that in Act 2. How much? What does Campfire do for us? Campfire upgrades Panacea. It upgrades Panic Button. I'm going to do shops here. I'm going to do shops and elites. Although, actually, maybe I want to do an event instead. Look for Orb Walker. I think Orb Walker is just fine with Body Slam in our deck. And I don't want to see the shop necessarily just yet because it, it we smell ticket, which is whatever. But I guess the whole point is that you're looking for more removal like strikes, but also looking for like Barricade and Trench. Sorry, Barricade and Dark Embrace. Okay, so I guess I can do shop for that reason, just for power searching. Evolve would be quite nice. Uh, what else could the event be, though? So, it, we have a high chance of it being an event. It's still a chance of it being a sh fight, though. Um, I guess the event that we want it to be is... Mysterious Fear. Falling's okay, I wouldn't mind falling either, but falling could ask for a important attack. Notice how I had no powers for falling to actually uh, do. What about winding halls? Winding halls is pretty bad as well. So we have mysterious fear and falling, which is okay. Three of the events are kind of bad. Three of the events are kind of bad. Shrug it off is kind of unnecessary. Just because we have so much block. And our energy is really efficient with stuff like this. But I think it makes sense with seeing reds. It's okay. Alright. So finesse is like... Uh, looking at infinite here. With finesse. So how does infinite play with this deck, guys, if we get... So what do we need for infinite? If we're utilizing finesse. Finesse and what? Brimstone is scaling, but... Um, I don't know what Brimstone is the scaling I'm trying to do here. I don't want Double Top Reaper now because uh, we could definitely save it for the, re the summon. Like the same concept we use for Whirlwind though. We also have seen Red, Snickle Oil, and the following turn. I could allow myself to take one wound. Here, one wound is fine. Right, so we didn't get Whirlwind, but we do have the ability to seen Red, Snickle Oil if necessary. Now 
How could I live without you? Don't I know? How could I ever? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to do snake oil this turn. It's not a bad snake oil. I could do panache things here. I could do panache things. I don't think it's a bad snake oil though. Are we in agreement that this is not a bad snake oil? Maybe the downside is that it makes the power through worse. I mean, it makes second win worse, but we don't care about Penny that much, anyways. It's a lot of damage, just 66 damage that I don't want to like give up on. They had a whirlwind, anyways. Reaper as well. At last, Whirlwind has arrived. And Lethal has arrived with it. Oh, glorious. Second wind is still zero cost, baby. Well, I have lethal, so let's go ahead and take it. Whoa, mouth had hands. Now, I must mention, guys. I must mention. Uh, yeah, I have no powers. Also, all I want are powers. All I care about is important powers here, and I'm done. And this makes it even better. A third second wind is ludicrous. Downright st stupid. Sir Boomerang jumps, jumps Shuriken strength sometimes. Is Rampage my only? I mean, body for damage. This is alarming. Body slam and double tap. Pray that I'm a combo deck. Forget that I'm a combo deck. Silly man. I'm a combo deck. So we're doing 13 times uh, 8 here. Yeah, I can be a combo deck and still do things like this, but let's keep that in mind that we are a combo deck here. Come on, giant head. Speaking of combos, I'm about to combo your ass. But it's not really that much block. Really not that much block, man. I should have saved my cards a little bit here. Should have saved my cards just a little bit. Decent enough, but it's like I was weakened. All right, we'll get back into it. Barricade is what we seek, my friend. Uh, 
Even damage, right? Reaper exists. have lethal we are about to have lethal uh, we're about to have lethal we double tap what's that body slam I want to squeeze a reaper in there as well hmm I need energy a fifth energy would be nice a fifth energy wouldn't be as important if barricade existed you know I want to double tap next turn though. If I do this now, I can get double tap next turn, but. Double tap rampage, double tap reaper. Not necessarily. Let's get double tap reaper and win the game. Double tap reaper, double tap rampage. Gorgeous, but these are not the relics we're looking for, boys. Yes, it's gorgeous. Yes, it's clean. But at what cost here? But Sarm was great. I don't know if I even need Sarm though. I mean, the Sarm. I wonder if a second body would do well in this deck. Oh boy. We're gonna go for four elites. We have two more left. We have a shop. A rare card chance is going up 35% here. This elite. Alrighty, Lantern's not bad. Not the greatest, though. If anybody's secret technique, let's get a secret technique here. I can keep them alive. I can get rid of these all these skills now because we don't need them. Um, we don't need them for the, but I want to save the block that it provides. That's theoretically this one. Okay, this is not one of them. Not the greatest turn. We're all coming up. Let's take a look here. I can focus on her exclusively. If I, did, if, I, if I did, see the problem with panic button is that panic button is pretty bad actually. Because, like I said, I have such a good block of power through second winds that I don't know. If I do panic button, the following turn I can't do the power through second wind, which is bad. I guess panic button is good on the second turn, like where you don't want to block as much. Take two more wounds, take some damage. Double type bash, double type whirlwind. Let's 
get a Reaper in. Which that I watch? I've been watching all kinds of stuff. Lately I've been watching like language stuff and like gift the kindness stuff. We got an Akabeko which is really not it's really not what we're looking for guys. And we got our our first power which combust which is also what we're not looking for. I mean I think we have a pretty good thing going here. We just need to get a little bit extra. I've been watching some language videos. Uh I watch sometimes games that I enjoy, sometimes I watch um it depends a lot on my mood. Do I know Harold Boulder? No, I do not. Evolve. That's a power I wanted. A second battle trance. A second battle trance in Art of War. Can we make do with a second battle trance? I feel like yes, there's times where we want a second battle trance. And sometimes the second win gets rid of the other one. Full hands. You think I have a lot of full hands? Because mm. I have too many strikes in the deck, right? That's why I have so many full hands. I agree with you. I agree with you, comrade. Nice snap. Nice snap, Trickle. Do you have any dreams? Check this out, guys. Oh, this is this is the wrong turn for all of these cards. Look at all these cards I have. <laughs> Look at all of these cards. Combo deck. Panic button is actually just so bad. Second, double second win in Pyramid is actually really bad. I think Pyramid is like pretty mediocre with the stick. A Juzu. What are these? What is wrong with these cards? Okay, Shaku is great. Shaku is okay. Now I'm, I have a closed line. I'm thinking, rethinking my life choices here. Shaku is obviously pretty, pretty nice. Works with my right hand. Butati also works with my right hand. 80% our potion chance is brimming guys. We haven't seen a blood. We haven't had blood pot and speed pot since the beginning of this act This is teeming the teetering tottering edge. I do like the I like to cook. Yes You know in uh, in mi sangre I Tengo un chef muy grandísimo I don't know what I'm trying to say. I think I don't know what it is what I did as a child for some reason I like to cook and so does my family My uncle was a chef I might just say I have a large chef within me. Yeah, in my blood, but. Cooking and traveling is very nice, yeah. Vicarious things. So we have, um. Guys, today at the supermarket, I saw a sweet potato casserole. And, and I was like. I didn't get it, but man. I was tempted. <laughs> Trigger, you're silly. I think sweet potato casserole is like one of my top three favorite foods. That emo, that emoji. Flushed, it's flushed. You're, you're talking about flushed, I think. I thought he's a power with the muffin hand. Draw six cards a turn. Why do we want six cards a turn? Six cards a turn so we can, can just uh, second win our deck more often. And if we second deck win our deck more often, um, now nah, we're not gonna need that. Let's take the shockwave. Our potion chance is brimming here.
If I get barricaded, this, this, this game's over. It goes without saying. Potion chance? I still didn't get a potion! The Spire is trolling me within Act 3. The bare minimum. The relics from the garbage. The potions from nowhere. So we have bloodletting and disarm and rage. Interesting. How is that good? I don't know. This resets after the act is over. It gets resets. It goes back down to 40%. I go back to the 40% before the act 4 leads. Bye bye. It's okay. Speed pipe panacea is all we care about in the heart. We, if we make the consideration between stopping vulnerable against the heart or stopping the. Uh, or getting 5 dexterity, I'll take 5 dexterity. Yeah, it resets to 40 every act, unfortunately. Second disarm is unnecessary here. We got to determine if we're actually doing alright against under Deca. I would say with. With Evolve, Second Wind, the Dornadecca never kills us, but I've been wrong before. Bloodletting says sometimes with my full hands, like we've noticed, we have some full hands, I can play more cards, and no longer have a full hand. Now the problem with Bloodletting, or these full hands that we speak of, is that usually Second Wind handles them. And Seeing Red handles the other ones, so this is a, a total skip. Do we ever see Bloodletting actually being useful in terms of emptying our hands? What do you guys think? Usually not, no? Orwalkers, we have Orwalker Calipers, go. Orwalker Calipers, let's go. We have a new emote. This is, put this in the chat to manifest. Orwalkers Calipers, right here. Floor 48. I'm standing in my own chat. Um, for, luckily, Orwalker can't give us a boot because boots are common, so we're, uh, we're thankful. Son of gun. Son of gun. I knew it. I had a feeling. I knew they were gonna ask for my rampage. All right, bye, defend. We loved you. Recall. Uh, Act three was uh, the low par. Deep breath is interesting because I can reset my second wind. Excusez-moi. I get rid of my other battle trends though. This is why I can see why I have full hand now. Okay, okay, it makes a lot of sense. When you put it this way, it makes a lot of sense. Oh, but what a turn it is, and what a man I am. What a turn it is. Let's say I want to keep my battle trance in the deck. I get rid of the power through. And then I get it. Look at this. And then look at this. And then look at this. And then I get Shuriken. Good turn coming up. Decent turn. You can disarm for some time. Disarm for some time. I can second wind all of this and then just bash. And we don't care about getting rid of Trugit. Uh, Trugit is important, I would say, for like the strikes. But in reality, um, it's like a wind hard carrying this fight. And we can take some damage because we have magic power. And I want to apply bash. So I'm content with 21. I know we're gasping in the audience. Oh my god, the Trugit. The one and only. The perfect is gone. Perfect is probably going to be gone regardless because look at these turns. Just getting this turn is fantastic. Nope, it's not fantastic. We have Weaken, we have Reaper. Remember, we can always maintain Reaper to get heal something, so I don't mind if I take too much damage. I do want to keep double tap body slam because that's gonna be my main source of offense. Just power through second wind, double tap body slam. And that guess how I'm gonna kill. So I wonder if we actually just hold back to double tap here. In favor of uh, greener pastures. Then I, don't, then I don't have the weaken though, so then Reaper has to come up huge actually. 
I might even want to bash Deco so that the Reaper in the future is actually doing more because I think we're going to get double tap. We're going to get body stamp within the next turn or two. I actually think this is actually beneficial. Just for Reaper purposes. And this is where it needs to pop off, right? Because we need to drop the second wind, primarily. Maybe Dotep doesn't exist here. Oh, it does, but. Okay, yeah, Double Tap and Second Wind can't exist together. So if I do Double Tap, Second Wind, um, I'm only Double Tapping for the Body Stamp, and then we can Reaper. We can Reaper Deca solo. And instead of having Power Through, we can just use the Days for Block. So let's take a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 4, actually. Only f 1, 2, 3, 4. We're at 28, we have full block, and we do a um, decent amount of damage. And then we can Reaper back up to hold full heal. Okay. Maybe just still on the deck as well. GG. I could even Reaper right now. I really want to squeeze some juice. Squeeze a little bit of juice out of this guy. Full heal, double rampage, and then we hold the second win for the big beautiful turn, the big bad wolf. That's me, I'm the wolf. This is the prey. Alright, should we do this? We'll keep on battle trance. Principle sick. No matter of fact, beyond principle. Shame and misery. Alright, um, we heal mine. So, this is within the range. Beautiful. What's next? Give me a barricade, please. I'm struggling. Why do I have the bare minimum? I deserve more. Look at these potions. I deserve more. I like sugar. I'm sure not sure what psychic like technique is gonna do for us. Good panacea. That makes more sense. I can even take damage here. <laughs> Drawing here is a little bit awkward. Because I can just take power through rampage. do we need barricade for this deck I'm worried about the heart a little bit I mean, yeah I can make some good turns and block but it's so so clunky sometimes this turn is a particular example of wounds overpowering me here but I've seen red dark I have, I have some stuff here like dark shackles seen red okay second win coming up this is awkward but it'll get solved with double tap uh, body same stuff did I just do this now do I double tap Reaper now I can heal for the rest of the game. fight I get the shuriken proc and then all I gotta worry about is well I want double tap body slam for lethal right that's one of my goals mm. I'm free to anyways so I want to be able to use like both scene reds and have a massive turn, but I don't even think scene red can come and play it twice. Wait, that was a close in shockwave though. Uh, 
like one second here. Hey, what's up, um, T-Pix? Evening, evening. Okay, man, take care. The high and by kind of guy. The Beatles is back, and T-Pix is the front runner. Thank you, I want to see Lord Mox. Lord Mox got a haircut, we gotta compare. The Beatles are back, by the way, Kramer. Uh, the scene, the scene reds are awkward here. Because they are a negative draw right now. Uh, I think double tap, we can actually get back afterwards. This is fine. We do have clothesline to worry about. We have a massive uh, turn next turn. But I also want to make sure that, uh... I don't know. It's fine. This is a place. Being frail sucks. Sure. I think that is, 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 the, is the ideal play. I'm wasting a lot of uh, turrets and shuriken procs. Doesn't do that much for me. I'm giving him strength for no reason. We are drawing the second window. And we feel a whole lot of double tap. I mean, this is, we have a big combo coming up. It's just that my hands are always full. You got a haircut too, Trey Let's see it. Today, this, this time around, I asked him to leave a little bit more on the top. You know, I was exper experimental with it. I have an amazing hand right now. I have an amazing hand right now. I have an amazing hand. Uh, I just need body slam. This is an amazing hand. It's so amazing I'm keeping it. Obviously you want body slam there, body slam is huge. He's also added a horn ball, I also don't have weakened on him. I'm playing my food a little bit. This is kind of bad. Okay. This pyramid is awkward here, huh? Oh, oh my lord. Lord have mercy on my soul. Let me and the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have a problem here. We have a problem here. As much as you want to power through to double up and double slam, it looks like we have power through, double tap, second wind, body slam being the fourth, or slam being the fifth. Okay. I mean, I don't make the rules. I follow them. Imagine getting frail on my big turn. Frail and weaken. It's like he knows. Defense mechanisms on point. Doesn't matter because Rampage is becoming a beast of its own right. Ain't that right, Rampage? Look at that hand. That hand's glorious. Look at this hand. Lethal in a thousand ways. Just to really rub it in. Show him who's boss. Go infinite. So we've seen this deck. Matter of fact, how would we go infinite? What would be our approach? I mean, I wonder if I should have taken like a drop kick or something. Because we have a flash of... No, we don't have a flash of steel. We don't have a finesse either. Okay. But infinite was obviously very doable. Okay, guys. Um, with all that being said, there's a significant lack of... Uh, so I think Panacea is a huge upgrade. Let me explain why. Panacea can stop the vulnerable and it can stop the... Uh, 
speed pot. And that alone is so enticing. Do we agree? If we can stop vulnerable and we have speed pot, it doesn't even matter if Barrick is not in the deck. After the first cycle or two, my 7 dexterity or 5 dexterity or whatever is going to be sky high value. Are we in agreements? What would be the other? What would be uh? That, that, that requires Panacea first turn, of course. But uh, okay, what would be the other? Oh, there's also another Panacea potentially from the toolbox. What would be the other upgrade choice? Shockwave for infinite, infinite weaken and vulnerable. We have close line and bash to kind of consistent make those consistent, and then we have uh, I guess panic button dark cycles. This is mainly just fodder. Let's do this. For act for for the heart, but let's take a look at the shot. Let's give us something good, something great, something amazing, and it's a dual wield. Let's talk about dual wield. We have a thing called Mama Fat Hand. If we dual wield a power, we can do some things. Oh, that's right. I've got one stupid power. I kind of want to draw a pot, honestly. I guess fire breathing could help us for damage. My goal is that my damage is going to come primarily from big ass body slams. Without a barricade, that's a little bit harder. But with a speed pot and panacea, a little bit easier. So that's nice. I could take some damage here because if they drop a potion, blood pot, it heals me up. And regardless, blood pot can heal me up. It would be ideal if they drop a potion and I take damage to get lethal in a perfect fight. Like, meaning the fight is only perfect because they drop a potion. But I'm going to try not to lose any life. And I think that my damage being body slam and some shuriken scaling and a little bit of rampage should be fine. Although, again, relying on body slam being your damage is sometimes scary if you're not having barricade because the turns in which you're blocking are also the turns in which you're attacking. You can see how that runs into problems. Um, but rampage can do a little thing or two. I would come down to like. Damage considerations, right? Because fire breathing, if we add it to our deck, that means we're not going to be second winding the wounds as much as we think. And in fact, using them as damage sources, when in reality, that doesn't really work well with my pyramid deck because uh, I often my hands are full, which is very bad. And dual wield doesn't do much for me. A sword boomerang is a way to dump our strength. So we do get shuriken proc sometimes, and sword boomerang is a way to dump our strength. Uh, I still don't know if that's significant enough. I think the deck's probably operating just fine with the rampage bodies in front, but a little bit scary, of course. I feel like it's just just barely there. I'm worried about how fast I can kill and the second cycle of attacks. And now uh, we do have dark shackles we can hold on to, which is weird because you want to hold on to dark shackles for like the second rotation of multi hits because they become scary. Which means you have to have artifact strips first off, and also not to mention second wind exists, so you can't really hold on to dark shackles and also use second wind. So in general, dark shackles is very awkward with pyramid second wind. Because yes, it might. I mean, you would have to draw into this and not use second wind at all previously. It's just tough. All that to say is that I guess we don't do anything at this shop. It's wasted gold, huh? We cry quietly in the corner with the world's smallest violin. And we, we, we curse the day that we say, why don't I have four more gold? Four more gold, I would have loved it. One more strike removal, and I think the deck actually functions beautifully. But good luck, guys. Bandage up is healing for six, and it does three AoE. This helps with damage front, but I think the heal is probably better, right? Heal 14 or do 45 damage every multi-hit. But that's not to say, what if I get a potion from the, the I-4 Elite, you know? This feels weird to get rid of these potions when I might they might drop a potion. But I guess do I want to think 45 damage every multi-hit? So that's like 130 damage. For the first three cycles of attacks. It's 30%, yeah. Yeah, 30%. Yeah, that's right. 30%. True. Okay, interesting. Trip. Double, scene red double tap world wait, wait how much damage is that wait how much damage is this hello oh 
Okay, so we got potions and uh, uh, blood pot's gone and dexterity. Okay, panacea's peat pot. We have seven dexterity in a fight that should be enough to win. And in a world where we have no powers, the game offers commons. All commons. Upgraded, of course. Uh, a little bit of adversity. Red Skull is probably not getting procced. And if it does, okay, maybe it gives us longevity. Is our damage enough? Well, dexterity and body stem go well together. The dex end up, end up being small. Maybe we just barely get there. I feel like from Act 3 on, we've had a really downward trend of luck. Piss poor card choices. Because we had a high roll in the early game with like power wind, power 3 second wind. A little bit of downtrend. It's okay. We'll take this relic, sure. And 30% max HP heal or dexterity putt. It's a little bit weird because obviously we not might, we may not get panacea on the first on the first two attacks if we're, if we're unlucky panacea just won't show up which means that i'm probably going to take a lot of damage because i'm going to have frail and invulnerable right if that's the case the blood pot heals for 21 I saves 21 life Twenty-one life, or so, right? Let's say twenty-two, I suppose. And the thirty part because that saved me twenty-two life. Does it? Does the thirty part save me more than twenty-two life? Thirty percent, though, right? Twenty-one. Mm-hmm. I put I put twenty-two just because of the point fives. Maybe the point fives make it twenty-two. I, I'm not sure. So yeah, twenty-two life. Does the thirty five save me twenty-two life? Let me see. I would have to play like it would. It would break even eventually. I'll take a twin strike for damage, guys. Twin strike because it dumps my strength for damage. What do you guys think about twin strike? Just for shuriken damage stuff. Just to kind of. So I have rampage body stem and not twin strike for damage. Or is that just unnecessary? Because I'm thinking about it. I think a twin strike that could be like a little bit of an oomph. A little oomph right here with the shuriken procs. Double tap, double shuriken. It starts adding some, some significant hits, actually. If they have vulnerable, which they're gonna have vulnerable. We're looking at some 22, 24, some big smackers. Well, body stem may not be. I don't want. I don't think body stem is my only consistent damage. I mean, rampage is the other consistent damage. My point is that body stem is good on certain turns where I'm mainly blocking, which is a little bit awkward because I have to set up block and damage on the same turns. And then on the turns in between, I want to have like Rampage and like, you know, some Twin Strike stuff. What I'm trying to say is that Body Slam is a, is a damage package that comes with block that I, I think I don't want to only be in that basket because I don't have Barricade. If I did have Barricade, oh, no brainer, game's over. But I think that I need to have some kind of damage that's outside of uh, Body Slam. And I guess you could look at Rampage for that. But I was thinking Twin Strike for its price, you know, Twin Strike can do a little bit of some, some work as well. Yeah, our plan with Speed Pot is to have a 5 dex. We have Panacea Plus, so our Speed Pot is supposed to be our 5 dexterity. So in total, we have 7 dexterity, which should be nice. And like, the greatest scheme of things, the fight should be solved by that. But do you think a Rampage is enough to help Body Slam? I don't need to uh, double up on the Twin Strike. Rampage is enough to help Body Slam, perhaps. The Twin Strike is a little bit overdoing it. And this is complimentary enough, perhaps. The last is just another run. Before we go all in, and this is our deck, you know, it's not as glorious as it wanted to be, but here it is, boys. Okay. I believe in my rampage. Two, double panacea. Where's double panacea? Okay, sure, this nature is a power. Dramatic entrance is a shuriken proc. 
gotta find Panacea, guys. We gotta find Panacea. the bathroom. Let's take a little quick little bathroom break, a little bit of stretch before we do the heart, okay? And then bring the weight on home and let's continue on. And before we don't win, huh? And what I think about it, I think French was fine. I think French is fine. We're gonna have to determine if that was a mistake or not. The more that I think about it. Okay, losing the body swim. Oh, now it's for card draw, right? We haven't found our weak and we haven't found our panacea. Really bad. So we're gonna be vulnerable. But panacea could double purpose as speed pot and it could also do purpose speed pot pinning button. So panacea is still in the works here. And I'm looking for a. Uh, I want to play Reaper here, huh? We'll play Reaper just to get out of the deck. I think this is Shuriken Brock, and we don't care about using Reaper later, do we? I mean, this is 7 heal that I'm probably wasting. But it gets it out of the deck. And if I want to save draw space, I could also get rid of Disarm as well. No, I could use Disarm. I think we use Disarm post split because we can probably manage. Well, we are going to be vulnerable. Reaper gives the Shuriken Brock, gets it out of the deck. But I don't want to see it on the redraw. Yes, it could potentially heal me for more. Like, for instance, with double tap and invulnerable, this could heal me for, um... Uh, a lot. Let me do the math. Could heal me for 20. With vulnerable double tap, this could heal me for 20. Do we want to get healed for 20? What's up, Great Salty? That's best case scenario, it's gonna be, it has to use double tap as well. As a, versus just like getting rid of it now and getting more card draw. Heal for 20. Heal for 20 might be actually quite significant because. I might want to save this arm for the, the redraw, though, is what I'm saying. Uh, of course, I have to get rid of the status, uh, artifacts. My question is how much damage are we taking right now on this multi hit? I'm oh, sorry, on this big hit? Because we're gonna be vulnerable, right? If we're taking a, a sizable chunk, we can save Reaper to heal back 20 of that. But then we have negative card draw right now. If we if we do this round, we don't have negative card draw. But then we don't get Shuriken proc. Let's say even if we were to take a big hit damage, which is quite a significant amount actually, because we don't have, we don't guarantee weaken either. So the big hit is looking at 67 right now. They don't have weaken or vulnerable uh, reduction. Of course, I don't know what my next draw is. Just saying, it's not looking good. So Reaper isn't out there. point is that this arm, I may not need to use it for the multi-hit next turn because he gets rid of the negative strength so then I don't have disarm for the next portion of the fight. The next portion of the fight, probably I'm scaling just fine because I have a smaller deck, I have speed pot applied and I have a really nice block source, I even have dark shackles sometimes. My point is that this arm makes the multi-attack do nothing. At the cost of me, uh... Having to deal with this full strength in the second cycle, but second cycle we should be fine. I say that we should be fine, right? And Reaper could heal for 20 after the big hit. And I can forego the Shuriken proc. Or I could use Body Sam for 0, but Body Sam for 0 seems bad when we have uh, a lot of block damage we want to convert into. We don't want to see. Re We're not going to receive Reaper, the Reaper is going to be in our hand. I just don't like how I'm not utilizing my energy here. So I really do think I should do Reaper for both the proc of Shuriken and just to get it out of the, the hand and also utilize energy properly as well as heal up a little bit. Save for 20 health, but in order for this to be 20 health, it has to be with double tap, vulnerable has to be applied, and it has to be um 
after I'm not weakened, which is in three turns. So I have to hold on to it for three turns. And if I use double tap earlier, then okay. Also, a lot of ifs, exactly. Well, it's not even a lot of ifs. I mean, I have pyramids, so like. I think we can be proactive here. Alright. Pansy would be nice now, because if I get Pansy at now, I have second wind stuff. I did get Weaken. Weaken is nice, we'll get some red skull value. Um is the multi hit system multi is doing nothing, I guess I could do panic button now. And maybe I can even stack out with the clothesline, right? I can theoretically do panic button now. I will have no block next turn, but that's okay because uh, I'm not taking damage next turn. We gotta figure out what to do with our turn without doing block. I guess we can do some whirlwind stuff. I'm sure, we're gonna play shockwave. It does some damage. Um, I wanna keep Stefan here because I actually wanna get rid of it with second wind. I think this is a decent time to see red. We can do. Um, Maybe like a body slam now, and we'll redraw the body slam later. Although we're about to get the most of our block the body slam, we'll do a double tap coming up, right? Because we're about to be drawn to power through second wind and double tap, which is going to be body slam heaven. So we're not going to get another shuriken proc, but we can get weakened out of the hand. Seems fine. He's vegan for a long time. Once we have 5 minutes 30, I feel pretty confident here. Although, of course, I gotta draw into these cards now. Of course I want to hold on to these like important block cards. We're almost through. We're almost through to the promised land here. Once we get Panacea and can get rid of a bulk of this stuff, we're almost through the promised land here. I, might, I think I'm supposed to get rid of body slam early just to kind of free up my. We'll get body slam damage later. I think I overestimated my ability to do body slam and also draw cards. I'm taking some red skull here. It's a little bit dangerous, but I think our block game is going to be so superior later on. It's fine. This much damage though. I don't want to take that much damage. Shepard's only going to be applied for, uh, Jesus Christ. Oh, 
Unfortunately, I barricaded that up in here. Fucking body slam, dude. Body some again just because I don't I don't I don't draw enough. Gracias. I wanna keep power I wanna keep power from some deck. But what type is huge? We don't need another power through, right? Uh, we have a lot of like nine block cards though as well. A lot of nine block cards as well. Is it worth keep second I mean power through. We have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. First thing I do is bodice the music. Strike into body slam stuff, and then we have kind of like keeping battle trans, that's the problem. I like to keep battle trans because of uh, just in case I have bad draws, but I think we're going for lethal at this point, so double tap second one seems fine. And then at this point, Rampage is actually doing close to lethal damage. They are running out of vulnerable. They are running out of vulnerable here. Do I need to keep double tap or not? Double tap really gives me card draw as well though. Which is interesting. So if we do double tap a second wind, we know for sure Rain Pitch and Body Slam are going to be doing significant damage. And then we have all of next turn to do Rain Pitch stuff, I think. This game's over. Ah, I can take another damage and do Battle Trance first. Uh, we don't want to keep Battle Trance in the deck, let me see. Because then I'm going to have Shrugra, I'm going to have Clothesline, Whirlwind, Bash, Strike, Palmer Strike, and then Rain Pitch, Body Slam as non draws. But they're not necessarily non draws because they actually do damage.
No, I want to punish because I want to body scan this turn. They're not really non-draws because they do damage, right? Um, if we keep, if we do battle trains, we draw two cards, take three damage, and we could potentially get even more block out of it, make the deck even smaller, and also increase your odds of getting body slam for sure. But we can't do Palmer Strike afterwards. The whole point is getting bodies in twice. And now, um, I have lethal, right? I mean, I can block here. And then we have lethal for sure. Power through body slam wins the following turn. So I just do whirlwind now. And then power through body slam wins next turn. GG, boys. didn't want to help me out. It asked me too many questions, but I said I solved them all. Rampage became a big damage source. Body slam was a damage source. GG. Okay. I think my power there was so fun. A little clunky with Pyramid, we had to go through a lot of cards, but then we ended up getting 7 Dexterity, which is pretty nice.